I'll tell you what, that man's got a story for every Christmas, every family event from the re- for the rest of his life. <laughs> like, Forever. Welcome to another episode of What the Sweet Fuck. I'm Nicola Fodi. I'm Megan Tonjes. And we're here to give you all things fuck. What you, we just had a whole, if you're on Patreon, you know. But there was a whole, th- mm-hmm. there's a lot of whole mm-hmm. things going on. Patreon.com slash what the sweet book. Anyway, right. what are you here for? Um, I'm here for this video I sent you of um, our favorite beef smelling baby that's now grown up. Oh my God, Ava. I could not believe. I know, first of all, just from her voice, even though she sounds much mm-hmm. older now, I'm like, this is that baby. I don't understand how she's become the greatest comedian of all time. I don't understand. So um, eloquent. So eloquent. Yeah, she's like uh, a little person. I mean, a, an adult, like a human being. She's <laughs> not like a child, like a human. And the video says Ava after makeup shopping this week. And this child talking about how, you know, she she doesn't use this kind of eyeliner after what it's done to her in her life. She sounds like she's been around for 400 years. She was always so cool. Like you never see a man, I love that. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm gonna make a Bob Ross statement, beating the devil out of this brush, you know? It's it's not liquid eyeliner. So we're gonna try it because I don't trust liquid eyeliner anymore after what it's done to me in the past. Oh Lord, <laughs> we're already on a rough start. My favorite thing about makeup is it's always there for me. How many things in your life change you for the better like makeup does? How many? I think it's only makeup. I'm trying to highlight my nose because my nose is the best part of me because I get to sniff people with it. And I smell beef. So that's how I went into a coma for five years of the internet and then came back. Rism. The way she speaks, okay? She's I a just, star. I'm obsessed. She is a star. She's always she a been star. a star. We always knew she's like she. I don't know who she, she's. Carol Channing. She's like a. She's a future great comedian. Hollywood I just, better take note because she's got to get some jobs in this future. Listen, I've seen a lot of children on the internet grow up into, and Lord help them all. But the uh, the beef smelling baby Ava, the didn't she have to do the one about bats? I love bats. I freaking like, love bats. To be I a mean, comedic genius as a two year old, this was I, expected. I'm I'm praying for her parents too because that level of like funny and observant and quick. Mm-hmm. Good luck to them mm. not being out argued and outranked Ooh, by this nine year old. She is like a queen of observation. I love her. She's an icon. I'm here for Doc got loose. We caught it all on camera. The dog came back with a herd of sheep. Of course he did. Like literally, imagine if your dog gets loose and comes back with. <laughs> The entirety of a farm. I just, these are And they're listening to him. All on the front porch. Wow. He just went out and herded. Like that, I I really. What do you even do in that situation? Like where do you, where where does one head to deliver a bunch of random sheep? You know, I I truly do not know. Like, how do you know? Maybe they're tagged. And then would you call up Farmer John and you say, hey. I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions about how this dog snuck these animals out of wherever they were got them all to go in one direction i mean i just feel like i mean it's a disney movie everything's a disney movie now Mm -hmm. but i love it It really it hit me in the right places yeah i feel it i feel the tingles inside it also made me kind of want to go to a farm and talk to some animals i think it's time i'm i won't be happy until you're holding a baby goat on camera oh my god you really want me to you want to break me there was one time I feel like I researched it. Like mm-hmm. there, there are like little animal sanctuary farm things where you can like hold little baby goats. I was in contact with one <laughs> and uh, I was like, I can like, can we do a video together? Mm-hmm. And then um, that fell apart. Like Damn. they didn't want to do it. Um, like basically all I wanted to do was film myself crying um, <laughs> with goats around me. Dude, and I feel like that could be huge on TikTok. It's just you holding little animals and sobbing. Mm, oh, I love it. I, love I don't it know too. why I'm such a little sensitive baby, but you got a tender. You just gotta love. 
you gotta tend your little heart listen i i feel way more love towards little animals than people for sure but only specific animals that i deem mm. cute enough and not mm-hmm. birds <laughs> oh, okay when you be right before you said that i thought of chickens because i'm like they are kind of cute but they're also delicious so i'm torn i'm trying to think of like a little animal that i i mean i love well, i do love little cows i've talked mm. to a lot of cows on the road stopped my car yelled at yeah. them Horses. i love you i love you mm-hmm. little piggies donkeys donkeys i'll, I'll, I'll hug them all i'll hug I'll them all hug too them all. and i'll hug the baby version of everything Mm-hmm. so um dolphin we go seafaring you know i'll hug a whale <laughs> i'd be friends with a whale dude mm-hmm. i don't know the hug would be like this i guess like I yeah don't know i would just be laying across yeah. you mm-hmm. oh my god that's actually sounds like a dream i hope my that my soul would leave my violent. body my soul i just the ocean scares the shit out of me my soul yeah, would leave my body have you seen um <laughs> giving you another show after you you've literally been I need more consuming? Oh, you need more. I need more. Um Made for Love on HBO Max. That sounds very familiar. Um oh, maybe it's on my list. But a dolphin is one of the characters. And <sighs> maybe it's not on my list anymore. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Oh no, so many I good shows. I saw a trailer for this, but mm-hmm. I haven't watched it. I'm oh, pretty watched, sure you would like it. I too, watched but... season. I watch I've watched so many goddamn shows. Yeah. And it's like it's upsetting to me because I this is the thing. If I jump into a show, I was pissed at hacks because all mm-hmm. of a sudden I was like, wait, why is there not more of this? If there's yeah. not at least five seasons of something, I'm pissed because yeah. I will go through a season a day. And if I have to jump out of this universe and start building my fucking care for mm-hmm. another universe mm-hmm. it's just it's so hard like i gotta figure out what mood i'm in what kind of you know like it's just i just want to be in yeah i, I want to be in. that the most recent thing i watched is called the g word on netflix I and i think it only that. had eight episodes and i finished the last one and i was so angry that there were no more it's basically like if like a show about how the government works had a really good budget okay oh obama yeah. is in like the first and last episodes interesting yeah. all right all right i might go back um, and rewatch er dude like i'm i'm about to like re-traumatize myself the fact that you just can dive into shows with 400 episodes is concerning to me that <laughs> i watched all of west wing and then i started re-watching yeah. it i started like mm-hmm. from i was like let me let me j- dive back into mm-hmm. the universe mm-hmm. that i feel so comfortable in yeah i just i'm telling you i just sit here and i just put something on and it just the time melts away so today i want to talk about a moment in time where you may a f- moment like, like this. time isn't melting away but it's lasting forever one uh. of those moments where it feels like eternity. Mm -hmm. And that is this story right here where the pilot was down, like fainted or had a medical emergency. Oh my God. And the passenger had to take over and fly the plane. A literal nightmare. And so this is from the situation, like this is the recording from with the air traffic controllers and the passenger trying to to fly the plane. (sighs) Oh my God. Watching this single engine Cessna land. Oh, did I not do the Florida sound? No, I hear it. I hear it. Okay, okay good. Affiliate WPBF. You'd never know a passenger with no flight training is at the controls. Three, Lima Delta, Roger. What's your position? I have no idea. <laughs> Literally, I don't give a, I fucking have no idea. That passenger calling air traffic control saying his pilot suddenly suffered a medical emergency while on their return flight from the Bahamas on Tuesday. I've got a serious situation here. My pilot has gone into Air traffic controller and former flight instructor Robert Morgan, who has experience with Cessnas, spoke to our affiliate WPBF, saying he instructed the passenger on how to steady the plane. He told me that uh, he was going to go home tonight to see his pregnant wife. It was a relief to actually help somebody because he's never flown a plane before, but I knew that if he just kept the plane, the nose pointed down and head to the big runway, that he had a really good chance as long as he didn't panic. And once he was on the ground, another challenge. I have no idea how to stop the airplane. In the end, making it to safety. Did you say the passengers landed the airplane? That's correct. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. No, great job. I'll tell you what, that man's got a story for every Christmas, every family event from the re- for the rest of his life. <laughs> like Forever. Remember the time Grandpa landed a plane by himself? <laughs> like, oh, Grandpa, you're a pilot? No. You got to feel so good about yourself when some, when the people at the airport are like, that was pretty good. <laughs> you know what's also a little wild is when I first saw that, I was thinking like, it kind of made me realize or like something I didn't think about before. I'm like, okay, pilots are just people <laughs> who learned how to land a plane. So uh, it's possible for a people to land Mm -hmm. a plane. Mm -hmm. And so like this guy (laughs) under extreme duress Mm -hmm. managed to land a however many ton metal flying object Mm -hmm. onto a runway with just the help of some vocal support. Sounds like it's not that fucking hard, dude. I'm like... (laughs) Sounds like some of you might be going to school for a little too long. Uh, it sounds like someone could just pick it up real quick. That like, man sounded uh, so calm. Uh-huh, he sounded yeah. so calm. I don't know which version of me I would be. I'll because- tell you what version of me I would be. You'd hear me on the speaker of me like, we have a fucking emergency. Okay, I don't know who needs to come get me. I'm circling around until someone can pluck me out of the sky. They're like, okay, ma'am, you have to, don't call me ma'am, first of all, all right? I miss, all right? I'm young still and full of life. And I would like to remain that way. So I don't know who you have to send up here to fucking spelunk their ass across a wire, but I'm gonna need some assistance. Okay, could you turn the nose towards the express? I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be looking. Everything looks like runway. There are so oh. many buttons. First of all, you won't see my ass in a in a one person, two person plane. I went on one like little like uh, not a helicopter, but a small plane one time to a place called Beaver Island mm-hmm. in Michigan, which just recently um, had a plane crash and like a kid. Everyone except for the kid died oh, on this spot uh, on the same kind of plane um so never will be doing that again um Oof. and it was a scary experience just because of it's you feel everything dude it's so but I, it, it, what happens is it's the difference between do you want a 15 minute airplane ride or do you want a three hour ferry boat ride mm-hmm. and i'll be taking the ferry i'll be taking three hours correct part of me would like to try it mm-hmm. part of me but i don't know if that part of me would be active in the signing up portion yeah, I feel like you're. I feel like who's going to be active in signing you up is going to be your boyfriend that just left. I feel like you're going to be jumping out of a plane at some point. Yeah. Oh, I was just reading a study that um, that helps people get over uh, depression. Oh shit. Because oh, it's minutes. so like exhilarating for your body. Because mm-hmm. I guess you know you're like, oh, I might die. That it like in a way rewires your, your yeah brain. you know what you know what else staved off depression for me for a while a few, a few years back mushrooms and so uh-huh, i would 100%. rather if, if the choice baby. if the choice is between psychedelics and a, a a small plane i'm going psych absolutely okay i'm going i'm going to some uh airbnb up in the woods and i'm taking mm-hmm. mushrooms with my friends baby mm-hmm. correct <laughs> I know exactly who I am. Me too. You, you, you can go first. Okay. This is, uh, you get that call from me saying, hey, there's been an emergency. And then uh, they'd be like, can you give us your position? And I'd be like, no, babe, look out your window. <laughs> okay. That's where I am. All right. So whoever can come grab me, please grab me. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, in a similar vein. Um <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when it came to uh, emergency um, responsibility, this is where I would be. Um, Literally, because I think I I may I may have a better chance <laughs> in this position than another. Yeah, no, I'm doing everything that you're not supposed to do is probably what I'm doing to get out of that plane. That's just yeah. not. Uh, I can't. I can't. I'm just not built for that, dude. I'm you know who it. is built for that? These babies. These babies. Uh, we want to give a oh yeah to Elizabeth Geierman. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Geierman. Jeremy Shaw. Jeremy Shaw, Shank Redemption. This. And Shannon Lemon. And Shannon Lemon. 
We also want to give a thank you to Heather Snitch for Heather, shut the fuck up, Snitch. Jennifer Best. Jennifer, be best, please. Cat Waterflame. Cat, the truth in the light, Waterflame. MJ Dolorico. MJ, my sweet bitch baby Dolorico. Roberto XS. Roberto 3XL XS. And Stephanie. And Stephanie. We also want to thank all the BBs on the screen, the BBs you don't see, who are ghost BBs. If you'd like to join them and us in the afterlife, please visit patreon.com slash what this week. Thank you, BBs, for supporting us, the show, specifically us. Um, and yeah. uh, if you'd like to uh, support in the same way, you can go to patreon.com slash what this week fuck. And you can find me most places that sound me awake. You can find me Megan Tanja, so you could ask to go buy some of my little, my little bags over at Oopsie Bagsy, you know? Come get your fabrics. Come so get your loves. Days. She got Appreciate a whole it. pile there ready to ship out. I'm ready. You got these fingies are ready to sell, babe. The, she's She got fingies and she got singies. And I got cunnilingies. So let's get it going. Bye. <laughs>